here comes Kobe out into the picture. And Shaq and the new Lakers. And there are a bunch of them against O'Neal. And the tip is controlled by the Lakers. And Jumaine Jones is number 20. Not normally a starter. The Lakers, we should tell you at the beginning, missing one of their starters, Karan Butler, former Miami Heat player, who has been suspended for one game for throwing a punch in the New Orleans game the other night. And Brian goes right to the lane and has it taken away. Now a 2 on one and Damon Jones lays it in for Miami. Now this is Miami's game. Excellent shot blocking by Shaq. That's what he's added to this team. He gets three a game. They are a terrific fast-breaking club. So Bryant went immediately to the basket. Now he gets it again, works off a screen, works outside, and a little fall away is good. So Shaq was right there, and then Kobe with that fall away to tie the game. Uh, they started both plays the same way. Misdirection to the right side of the floor, came back, a screen and roll using Shaq in the screen, and they know that they can get into the paint. This is Damon Jones playing with his ninth team in seven years, and we have a three-second violation. Now keep an eye right here. This is a strong move by Kobe. You knew that he would challenge Shaq, and he will do it every time tonight. Here it comes down inside now. The fadeaway jumper after the first one was blocked. Defensive three-second call on Odom. So the Corvette goes into the brick wall, then the Corvette starts to go into the brick wall again, puts on the brakes and backs up, and from reverse, makes the field goal. Rudy Tomjanovic, the Lakers coach, Phil Jackson leaving after five years, three of which resulted in championships. Now Shaq with the ball, gets it back. And misses, missed everything, and out of bounds it goes, the Lakers have it. Well, interesting, how are they gonna play him? Well, they're gonna double team once he catches the ball. You saw the movement, from the top of the circle down. Now it's up to Shaq to find the three people once he is double teamed, which is a stronghold of the Lakers. You caught a glimpse of Stan Van Gundy in his second year as the coach. And a man who played for him last year, Lamar Odom, ex-Clipper, ex-Miami Heat, who was involved in the O'Neal trade, puts it in to make it 5-3 LA. Now with Odom, this is big now. He has to have a big game, not only in the post, but also stretching the defense. Wade. And that partially oh, blocked, bad, bad. but then Odom saves it and then puts it right into the hands of Haslam, who scores to tie the game. Well, they teach you that in grammar school. Do not throw the ball back under your defensive basket. And that's exactly what happened there, an easy layup. Udonis Haslam ties the game. Chucky Atkins loves to pump threes. He had 30 points the other night. Atkins to lead the Lakers in scoring against New Orleans. Well, he's a high, high percentage three-point shooter. Shoots over 40%, and he will be open quite a bit today with the double teaming of Bryant. League average for three-pointers about 34%. There goes Shaq, and how do you stop him? Well, the only way you stop him is if the coach did not call his number out. And then on the fast break transition game, if the four perimeter guys do not pass him the ball. That's the one problem when you are a center. You're at the mercy of the other players. Very strong move by Shaq. You could see he split the double team. The double team was late. Now Bryant from outside. Three-pointer goes. Kobe has not been shooting well this year. Only 31% from three-point land, but bangs this one home, and the Lakers are up by four. And the Lakers have made three of three from beyond the arc. Dwayne Wade with it. Second year out of Marquette. First round choice last year. Driving to the basket and gets fouled. Now, on that move by Dwayne Wade, you saw a pretty good defense by Bryant. Bryant actually was in front, was it surprised that he did not get the offensive foul. And great to be working again this year with Michelle Tafoya. Michelle. Well, Al, I had a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with Shaquille O'Neal before the game, and I asked him how he was going to, or if he was going to address Kobe Bryant. He simply shook his head no and said, I don't need to talk to him. I said, what if he extends an olive branch to you? He said, I have nothing planned. I won't do anything crazy. I'll be cordial and classy as always. Al, Shaq made it clear he would not initiate the communication today. And he didn't, and we saw it. He walked out. Odom was the first guy to see him, and a couple of other guys came into the mix. Colby actually moved in the direction of Shaq, and they exchanged elbows or forearms or whatever, but Shaq looked straight over the top of his head. Now Bryant again from three, and Colby Bryant. As I say, he's been very cold this season. He's averaging less than 40% from the field and 31 from the three-point land makes one again. Well, you can see great players always rise to the occasion when it is a big game. He's off to a terrific start. Udonis Haslam misses. 
Chris Mim, who yanked down 21 rebounds the other night against the Hornets with it. And here goes Bryant again from three. Whoa, baby. Well, that's a pretty good little early statement. Kobe Bryant already with 11 points in three and a half minutes. And then O'Neal draws a crowd. Now, right now, Kobe is on fire. Distance is not a factor. You can see it right here. He's a step behind the three-point line. He has a feel. And any time that you have a feel, you're going for it. And especially with such an emotional game as this. Eddie Jones, one-time Laker and a teammate of Brian and O'Neal. Number six. Sent the ball inbounds. Fade away from Wade. And you can see why everybody is in love with Dwayne Wade, potential superstar. Well, there's pressure on Kobe to do a good defensive job on Wade. And Min with a running hook over O'Neal. Who would have thought? <laughs> the Lakers, 19 points. The other night, the Lakers had 24 points in the second half total against Memphis. Now they have 19 in a little over four minutes. And that one is banked in and goes. Wade scoring goes to the line. Well, in the early going, you're seeing Dwayne Wade. He's excellent off the dribble at 6'4", 212, a powerful body. You, he can adjust while he's in the air to a fadeaway shot. What I liked about that, that was an 18-footer off the backboard. Beautiful move. Wade, a great player at Marquette, but he got lost in the shuffle last year because everybody was talking about LeBron James. And if they weren't talking about LeBron James of the rookie class, they were talking about Carmelo Anthony. So he sort of sneaked in under the radar. Well, he definitely answered the bell, though, for Miami. Average 16 a game. Bryant missing now, his first miss from beyond the arc. Right now, the Lakers cannot fall in love with the three-point shot. They've got to start going down inside and getting some movement. Wade feeds O'Neal, and then O'Neal missed, got it back, puts it in. I want to tell you, the big fella's working. Mm -hmm. right? Now, if you came here today and didn't just thought that this was another game for him, he is splitting the double teams, working the offensive glass. Four points now for O'Neal, and Jones reaching out, fouling Bryant. Some nights, when, when the action is going in through you, in the low post, you have a tendency to pass out and keep everyone involved. Tonight, Shaq is splitting the double team. When the shot is going up, he's crashing the board. Bryant with 11 points already. Bryant with the ball, guarded by his one-time teammate, Eddie Jones. And then Jones, no, that was a defensive three-second here. Three-second violation, and that will send Kobe Bryant to the free-throw line. So each team, UB, has had a defensive three-second call early. We know that the Achilles heel for the Lakers this year is at the defensive end of the floor. They have had poor coverage. They rank 30th in the league in steals and forced turnovers, and that's a lack of aggressiveness at the defensive end. But today, everybody is wired. Rudy Tomjanovich took over. Phil Jackson departed. Remember, the Lakers also talked to Pat Riley, the Miami president, about coming back to coaching as Min puts it in. And then the job was offered, you recall, to Mike Krzyzewski at Duke. And he thought about it for a couple of days. No. And then Tom Janovich, a lifer, as a rocket. He'd been there for 34 years. Makes the job. That was an excellent, excellent cut by Eddie Jones. And you could see that he was held as he came up over the screen by Shaq from the wing. I like what I'm seeing so far here today. Both teams are high energy. They're really going after it. But right now, you've got to keep telling the Lakers that you cannot stay in love with the three. Other things have got to happen. Wade from 18. He loves it from about that distance. Pretty good outside shooter. But the one thing about Wade, he almost never takes the three-point shot. Well, he stays within his game. Now he lets the game come to him. Bryant outside Atkins, who loves to take three-point shots. And Chucky misses. And the rebound comes out. To Jones, Wade sends it up and Haslam knocks it down. Slam dunk by Haslam. Well, the four guys who surround Shaq on the floor for Miami, all athletic, good leapers. So when you're on the break, they're always dangerous for the lob. Now Odom 
The left-handed power forward came over from Miami in the Shaq trade, can't get the bounce, tries to follow it himself and gets fouled by Haslam. The Lakers are five out of seven from three-point country. The Heat has not taken a single three-pointer. This is Jumaine Jones, and he gets the start today. Former Celtic in place of the suspended Teron Butler. Bryant starts to get doubled right now. Jones on him, gets the screen from Mim and hits again, and that's another three-pointer. And that's the first time in Kobe Bryant's now nine-year career he has hit four three-point shots in the first quarter. But he can get that shot anytime he wants it, mainly because Shaq is laying off Mim, who is setting the screen. Wade missing there, and Mim goes high for the rebound. Mim has been a nice addition for the Lakers this season. And Jermaine Jones has won that one. Well, Jermaine has that nice 18 to 20 foot game. The Lakers have got to get some easy baskets here today. That's something which is lacking in their play this season. Get the ball out and take advantage of the numbers. Very much so. They've been struggling in that regard. They've had their moments this year, but a lot of times they've looked just dreadful. O'Neal misses. Rebound comes off to Atkins. Another former Celtic. They have three guys who ended last season with the Celtics on the court right now. Chucky Atkins, Mim, and Jumaine Jones. Another guy holding on the Miami Heat. And Brian is the holdover, and that gets blocked. O'Neal with a block as Mim tried to go to the hoop. Back come the Heat. The Heat defense much improved over a year ago because of Shaq shot blocking. Wade gets fouled. The foul is on Kobe Bryant, and that's his second personal foul. Let's go to Michelle. Al, the two locker rooms before the game were entirely different. The Lakers were fired up. I talked to Luke Walton, Brian Cook. They were saying, this is big. It's like a playoff game. Luke Walton said, I was excited when I woke up this morning. But for Miami's supporting cast, it's not just another game, but it was too frenzied. I talked to Eddie Jones and Michael Doliak. They said, it's like a soap opera. In fact, Doliak said, the reason there's a frenzy over this game has nothing to do with basketball. So they were just a much more, you know, sort of relaxed team. I wonder if that's the difference in this game right now. You know, Yubi, I'm thinking about that. I mean, also, your body rhythms are wrong. I mean, this is a 12 o'clock right. game. The Lakers, it's Christmas Day. A lot of these guys got to be up at 6.30 opening up presents with their kids. It's always difficult for the traveling team to play on Christmas, especially if the families are not allowed to go on the charter. This is Mim. Gets it back. Great hustle by Mim. Now Bryant, trying to lose Jones, puts it up, and doesn't hit the rim. Uh, that time... Dwayne Wade got a piece of that shot. Eddie Jones from outside. That's a three. That's something which, when you play Miami, you know that Eddie Jones and Damon Jones are two outstanding three-point shooters. Even though Eddie started the season, you know, having difficulty, he is on a roll the last month. Atkins gets it outside to Jermaine Jones. He might have a little too much time to deal with the board. This is Damon Jones having his best year. As I said, nine teams in seven seasons. Moved into the starting lineup 10 or 11 games ago and has been great for Stan Van Denver. Well, you have to realize he's leading the league in three-point makes. This is the perfect team for him, mainly because Wade handles the ball. It's a slashing team, and he can spot up. Bryant, a little wraparound pass, and Min wasn't expecting it. Wasn't stolen by the Heat. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That was a beautiful pass right on, right into the hands of Mim. That should have been a dunk. Jones knocks away the pass. 15 on the clock. Miami right now on an eight-nothing run. Sugar Ray Leonard and Sylvester Stallone trading boxing stories as we start the second period. Rasul Butler from outside is short. Kobe Bryant is back in the game. Brian Grant. He's in the game for the first time. Kobe goes all the way to the hoop and runs into guess who? And uh, foul. That was an excellent move by Bryant. Uh, Bryant saw a hair of an opening, and he exploded off the dribble. Just watch it right there. Shaq is going for the block. Uh, as you know, if you wanted to really take him down to the floor, that would have been easy to do. But Shaq went for the block. He made a great point the other day when we were talking about the fact that if he really wanted to hurt you, O'Neal could, but he's not that kind of a guy. Look at this. <laughs> well, it's the Corvette into the brick wall, but not head on. 
Well, all you want from your shot blockers, especially powerfully built guys, is the fact that they set the intimidation in the lane. Now, even if you get one foul or two foul club, that the player has got to think again as this game is rolling on, whether he wants the physical contact going in. But you can see now, Kobe is attacking the rim every opportunity. Lakers have the lead by one. Bryant has more than half the Laker point, 17 of 33 before the shot of foul. Well, Brian Grant, a little bit of a sumo wrestling with the Shaq man right there. Now, because of the great difference in size, see right there, Shaq pinned him on his back. Well, Brian Grant, he's back now. He missed uh, uh, a number of games because of tendonitis. Well, he's going to fight Shaq. And another foul here. So Grant, who was part of the deal with Miami, remember he came, Karan Butler came, and Lamar Odom. The key guy for the Lakers in the 3 for 1 plus a number one draft choice. Well, Grant has missed 13 minutes the nights. And that one goes. And Grant, who's been into the game now for 31 seconds, already with two personal fouls. Well, I like the strategy. Anytime that you have a mismatch like that in size, well, then naturally you're going to go right down inside to Shaq, force him, and force Grant to play him. And what I really like today is if Shaq is an open, they'll throw it in, he'll throw it out, they repost them, go right at you. And that last person was on Cook after the two by Grant. Now, Tierra Brown is in the game at the point. Brown, the backup point guard. They work the perimeter to Bryant. Kobe drawing the crowd. Sidearm is going out to Tierra Brown. Drop ball go and it's goaltending on O'Neal. Yeah, Shaq waited too late that time. Yeah, he, he was supposed he definitely was going for the block. You're gonna see it right here. See, he waited a little, little bit too long. If he would have closed the gap, he might have gotten it on the way up. This is Keon Doolin. He's in the game for the first time. A lot of times he'll come in outside for the energy Haslam in and out. Rebound to Tier Brown. One of the new Lakers, the Lakers of their 12 guys active today, eight of them were here last year. Beautiful underneath the cook. Brown to cook. Sensational pass. That's what you like about Brown. He's not afraid to get down into the paint. You know, he's he's not uh, a, a big strong point guard of over 6'2. You know, he's under six feet. But he'll go in there and he'll create the play. Enough by Grant, but Haslam is there for the dirty work. That won't go. Now Walton starts the break. Now you can see now Shaq is definitely concerned about going to the basket. He is looking for his shot. Brian, who was hot early with the threes, misses this one, taken away by Grant. So the Lakers with a fresh clock and a three-point lead. Anytime that the Lakers penetrate into the paint, something good is happening. So you just wish that they would stop something. Cook misses. That turnover, by the way, by Miami was its first in the game. So they went almost 14 minutes without turning the ball over. The bench people for Miami have come in now. They're getting great looks. All the looks are within 15 feet of the basket. They just cannot make a shot. Nothing going down, nine and a half to the half. Eddie Jones guarding Bryant. Kobe to the lane, then he tries to dish it off and loses the ball. Give it up, get it back. There it is. Oh. Jones gets it off. Oh. is missed. Keon Dooling had an easy deuce. Now Grant, and he misses. So each team cold at the moment, O'Neal with the board. It was a beautiful break by Miami. Give it up, get it back, nice give and go. But you could see that on the move by Dooling, he kind of like slipped before he attempted to take off. Grant trying to get leverage. Eric in the perimeter, five on the shot clock, and from outside, Rasul Butler has come in, and he's ice cold. Yeah, wide open again now. You take the trap, make the two passes. Pierre oh. Brown couldn't get that one to go down. You like his feistiness, though. Mm -hmm. Now he goes right in there. Made the team unexpectedly. Great training camp. Got to have some movement here now. Oh. Good call. Good call. That's it. This year, they are attempting eight more three-point shots a game, and that will always lower your percentage. 
That's number one. For Miami, they are averaging over 10 points a game more because of the presence of Shaq. Every other starter is shooting a higher percentage than he's ever shot before because of the passes from Shaq. Christian Leitner comes into the game for the Heat. He gets the rebound off the miss by Tierra Brown. Lakers have led most of the way. Right now up by three. Wade dishes it off to Leitner. The former Duke drops that one to make it a one-point game. But you have to appreciate Wade. I mean, if, if, if you have not seen a lot of him this year, his game has blossomed. He's become an excellent passer off the dribble. If you take it away from him, he'll still create for the team. And Bryant walked. He was there to meet him. There was nothing that Kobe could do at that point except look to pass. And in so doing, to try to get the angle, he moved the pivot foot. Uh, keep an eye on Shaq. Shaq has been very active defensively today. You can see he just closed off. He pushed Bryant behind the backboard. There was no place to elevate for him. Way their leading score with 13. No chance for Mim. Well, he, he, he gave him a dropped shoulder out to the right, and Mim fate went for it, and as soon as he did, Shaq rolled baseline. A beautiful move. A move I've been watching here for the last eight seasons. That Odom. And a foul here as Dueling grabs oh. Mim. Now keep, keep an eye on Shaq now on this post up. You're going to see Mim is right in his back. See how he looks to the inside? Well, Mim favored, and as soon as that happened, Shaq could feel him across his back. Spin move, beautiful pinning the man for the dunk. Now to Brown. Back out to the corner. For a three. Can't get it to drop. Miami doing an excellent job off the dribblers. Cutting off the basket. Oh, oh yes. you knew that was coming. Yes, yes. That's the first time today that Shaq has moved up to the foul line area. And by that, whether that was a call by the coaching staff or eye contact. Beautiful. Shaquille O'Neal now with 10 points. Miami is on a 6-0 run. Heat up by three. And uh, again, a three-second call here. Yeah, late, late there right now, is, he's definitely challenging that ball. Keep an eye on Shaq. Now just watch as the ball goes to the corner. He stays, and now he makes the spin move. Anytime that he's out in that area, you have got to be aware of the lob. And you have to play him for the lob. Dueling with that feed. Free throw makes it a two-point game right now. Three-second call was on Leitner. Now, Leitner challenged that one right after Amani McCutcheon, the referee, wanted to know why. He just thought that he stepped in the lane and was out in time. Bryant. Again, three. And Kobe has started by making his first three. Oh, and O'Neal, O'Neal will... Slotted oh. away, but they call for goaltending to tie the game. Well, I tell you, he elevates on this one right there. Now, I want to tell you, I, in my opinion, that was a good shot block. We had a good look at that, Al. It was right in our vision. I thought he got it before it started. Yeah. And that's the second one called against O'Neal. So the game tied at 40. Dueling. And Atkins had reached out to impede him. Rudy Tom Janovich talked about it before. The reason he stepped down as the Houston coach two years ago was because of bladder cancer. Very scary, obviously. There's Devin George. will be coming back at some point during the season, but Rudy apparently has that under control. And Mitch Kupchak and Jerry Buss went out and brought him in here. Check in with Michelle. Michelle's mic in a second as O'Neal misses the second shot, but there's a, an a interesting foul. thing about Shaq this year. He's at his all-time low. You know, he's only shooting in the 40s, 44% from the foul line. A year ago, 49. Before that, he actually shot 62%. 
Now we know when he was at LSU, 53%. For his career, 53%. Why the drop off this year and last year? Because he isn't just missing now, he's missing wide. If you're a fan, Lakers last year, he this year, it's almost painful. That was a lane violation, which gave the other opportunity, 0 for 3. Odom loses it. Lakers trying to get it back, but here comes Wade to scoop it up with under three minutes to play. He loves that shot. At the other end, that was a good strip by Damon Jones. Odom made a nice move into the paint. Damon Jones came back in with the hand, and then watch out when they're on the break. Now Brian, Kobe started the game very hot, then cooled off, and Brian right now, by far the leading scorer for the Lakers. He's played 18 minutes and he has 20 points. Anytime that they use Shaq in the screen, Kobe's been able to open himself up for an easy shot. Comes in there to scoop it up. Bryant now gets it. Kobe driving on the heat. Of course, Bryant will draw a crowd. Three. Atkins bangs that one home. Atkins now two out of four from three-point land. Stan Van Gundy up and working. Miami getting good looks at the basket. Cannot put the ball down. Odom drives on the See, when the Lakers are doing what they do, oh, we got a technical foul over here. Rudy T on the floor. Now, Arnie McCutcheon just hit somebody with a T. Great move by Lamar Odom to the basket. Doing what he does well off the dribble. Yeah, Rudy is really a pot. He's really hot over this. What was interesting is he had Van Gundy on one end working the official down here, and then Tom Janovich on the other end, and Rudy gets the technical. Now you can see right here with Odom, they get him for banging the ball on the floor. Mm -hmm. Now remember, he just scored. You say, why is he upset? Because he thought he was fouled. Right. So instead of a three-point play, it's two and minus one. And from the outside, that's a three-pointer for Eddie Jones. So the Laker lead is now four. Bryant. From inside the arc. Eddie Jones comes away with a rebound, 115 remaining in the opening half. O'Neal gets fed. Again, works on Brian Grant. Foul. That's such a tough cover for Grant, especially if you play behind Shaq. Now, I know a lot of teams say, well, you can't front Shaq. You can front Shaq if you have good offside help on the other side of the lane. Now just watch right here. You play behind Shaq right now and the double team is late. Well, he's just going to take you to the basket because when he drops that right shoulder into your chest, there is nothing that you can do about it. 65 seconds to go. Shaq misses the first. Sunday on NBA TV, Boston at San Antonio. And then Thursday on TNT, Miami goes to Detroit. And then San Antonio will be at Portland. So O'Neal missing here. Brian Grant with that last foul. Grant's played six minutes and he already has three fouls. And that's what's going to happen to you when you have to guard Shaq. And give away so much height and so much weight. And speaking of weight, Shaq's down about 40 pounds, Juby. Well, he looks terrific. He has quick feet now. Very active. He was a source of frustration here because a lot of people thought that Shaq was overweight last year and the year before. Talking to him the other day, for what it's worth, here's what he said. He said, you know, when I'm in the West, I have to be big. I have to be bigger. I have to bang a lot. When I go to the East, I have to be smaller. So I lost 40 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> he lost 40 pounds because he's looking for an extension. <laughs> That's right. And also, now that he's here, they have the best record in the East, 21-7. and seven. They're averaging 10 more points, and they're a better defensive team. Brian misses with the offensive rebound collected by Odom. A better way to go on the South Beach diet than to get traded to South Beach. Oh, from the quarter to three. Lamar Odom. And he'll go into double figures. 12 points for Odom. Uh, Odom has a, an all around game. I, I know we said it earlier, but he has. You, you're playing him, you got a tough night because you got to guard him out on the three point line as well as in the post. 
Wade all the way. Dishes it off to Haslam underneath. Nice play. Making good decisions this year. What's the difference in Wade? According to his coach, Stan Van Gundy, better decisions in the paint. And you could see he accepted the double team, did not try to force the shot, made the pass. Lakers with the last shot of the half. And Bryant will go through the lane yep. and get called for the offensive foul. Yeah, good call. Good call from this angle. Amani uh, McCutcheon said he was definitely the defender, was outside of the defensive area. There it is. Plenty of time. The distance was correct. Bryant went right into the chest of the defender. And it's a heck of a time to get your third personal foul with 3.1 seconds to play in the half. Now you can get a good shot here, especially if you pass the ball up the floor. There it is. This is Lakeman. Look he did in And scores. So Tuesday night against Boston just to rest a little bit. But he played against Sacramento and they played most of the first half here today. But down the stretch, Al, in the fourth quarter, you could see he was limping along with Wade, who had the bad knee with the collision that they had in the uh, second quarter. Back and forth, inside, outside. Wade and O'Neal hey. passing up the three, setting for the two. Men with the rebound. Now, I'd like to bring out this point. For all these young guys who do not get drafted in the draft, we have three players starting in this game right now who are not drafted. And that is Damon Jones and Adonis Haslam, and then also Chucky Atkins at the other end. Now, that's guys who stuck to it, worked hard in the minor leagues, and have done a terrific job. Here is Atkins, and on Q, Yubi, he hits the three. And speaking of the other undrafted guy, I'm talking about Damon Jones. He leads the league in three-point makes. Yeah, and it's and it's beautiful to watch, Al, because they've been on a lot of teams, always going to camp, never knowing whether you were going to make it or not. And then here they are starting in a big game like this and doing a terrific job for their club. The Vagabond, is, this is Damon Jones. Turned around, goes in. You can double team him, but if you give him that baseline turn, he's going to shoot up over the top of you. I, I really like his quickness today. Mim outside. Brian goes in. All the way around him and then gets fouled by Eddie Jones underneath. Every time that Kobe Bryant is involved with a screen that Shaq is defending, Kobe can turn the corner. Now just watch how pretty this is. See the hesitation? Why? Because Shaq thought he had him, and then all of a sudden the acceleration. That forces someone to come and foul him, or you're going to concede the layup. Sometimes the Corvette just has to go around the floor. <laughs> Very like, good. Like a little chicane in uh, Monaco. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's Eddie Jones' third foul. Kobe Bryant and Brian Grant each have three for the Lakers. And Kobe Bryant has taken the only free throws for the Lakers today, all six of them. There is Brian Grant with his three fouls and just six minutes of play on the bench. Feeding Shaq again. Backing up on Mim. Again, the turnaround. And this one goes with a little help. So twice now, O'Neal has made that move and scored. Well, what we like about that, you know, you start one way with your offense and then you come back the other way, and that forces Shaq into a one on one situation. And you know what that is. Three pointer, Kobe connects. So Kobe started the game, made three early three pointers, made four of them in the first quarter. And Kobe Bryant right now giving the Lakers a six-point lead is five of nine from beyond the arc. And Haslam and he gets fouled, so he'll go to the foul. Haslam is upset. Yeah, he knows that he should have had a dunk that time. It was a beautiful pass by Shaq. I just keep an eye right here. This is a beautiful move, one-on-one, -on -one, and then one-on-one -on -one coverage. Shaq will shoot up over the top of Mim. Now right here, see once again, Shaq is laying back. There's no threat of a trap. There's a no threat of a show and force Brian out. Brian knows he comes off, he's wide open. Now, does he want to take the jumper or am I going to drive to the basket? You can see he's a happy dude today. <laughs> In a big day when you're putting up numbers of shots and uh, field goal percentage the way he is today. You're on top of it all so far.
But the Lakers could use a W because this is a team that right now still seeks its identity. Right. Off and on, three games over 500. And the Heat on top in the East, the best record, they won 75. Haslam clears the glass. Inside now to Shaq. Back to Wade. They'll lay it off outside for Jones. Three-point attempt goes. And Jones. It's nice to see Eddie Jones back. Yeah, when you think of his career, you know, he's he's really been a great scorer, first with the Lakers, then with Charlotte. All right? And it's uh, nice to see him back with the stroke. Lamar Odom, very used to playing on this court. Started his career with the Clippers, injured, suspended, very inconsistent. And then he really got it turned around last year at Miami, and then he for the Lakers was the centerpiece in that three-for-one deal for O'Neal. Well, you know, Al, he, he's, he's ranked at the top seven in rebounding, but the thing which is nice, he's shooting over 51% from the field. Wade, who takes very few three-pointers, took one there and misses. Now, he's the guy I would worry about as this game goes along, Al, because of the sleep on that uh, knee that he injured in the Sacramento game when there was a collision after a kick in the knee. And uh, you can see he does not have the total quickness today. You can definitely see this. You've got the sleeve on his leg. You've got the sleeve on Shaq's calf. Those are, are their two big men, obviously. And a foul on the way to the basket. Yeah, that's pretty basketball. That's that's a post man reading the defense when the defense is putting pressure on you. He's reading it, and he had the patience not to go quick. He catches the ball, and he feels Mim out. See, and there's that spin again. Now, Mim has been beaten to the baseline now three times. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm sounding like it's easy to guard this guy. <laughs> but he, he, he makes the first of two. He's now two out of six. NBA All-Star Game. This year is in Denver. NBA.com has O'Neal for cast your ballot there. O'Neal came into the game hitting 44% from the line. Is now two out of seven from the free throw line. They just put pressure on your defense right there. If Odom will make the move. Get three feet beyond the arc. Seven and a half remaining, third quarter. Game has been close almost all the way. Lakers with the biggest lead in the game, eight points at 17 9. How surprised Shaq didn't give Eddie Jones the ball that time. He was open. Nice pass. Now he gives it to Wade. Too hard. Left hand off the glass. Ball loose. And it will go to Miami, but with only three seconds. On the 24. Yeah, Wade could not elevate that time, Al. He had an easy layup with the left hand, but you could see he could not get the spring. And he needs a quick shot taken by Jones. Rebound body ball. Odom comes away with it. Bryant, 25 points. Curly with about 12 seconds of dribbling. And and Mim gets the rebound underneath. Mim all season for the Lakers doing a lot of the dirty work underneath and doing it very effectively. Yes. There goes Brian. He has it knocked away and the ball winds up out of bounds. Now Eddie Jones is hot because he felt that Brian knocked away his arm as he exploded past them. Kobe is such, is such a tough cover in any one-on-one -on -one situation. I don't care how good you are defensively, quick feet, good range, good length of your arm, he's still going to get by you. Damon Jones. Oh, oh. And a loose ball foul. On O'Neal, third on Shaq. Right now, Mim has got to say to himself, look, I'm quicker than Shaq. I've got to get up and down the floor. I've got to make Shaq really chase me in the transition game. I can make things happen for my team now if I work. Try to outwork him. Eddie Jones guarding Bryant. David Jones ready to come over and help. So Kobe launches. 
That was nothing but net. Now that's called range is not a factor. <laughs> that's what that's called, okay? What you do is you give a little jab step and you elevate. Right? He made that look so easy. Loves that move. Been doing it for years. 27 now for Brian. Jones losing. Goes to the right hand. Shaq can't get it to drop. Oh. And it's blocked underneath, and the Lakers come away with the ball. You got to get one now. Kobe cross court. Yeah, once again, if you force him to his left, he's having difficulty elevating Al and finishing with the left hand. And again, you wonder about, you know, getting shaken up the other night in that collision. Brian tries to go outside, nine on the timer. O'Neal goes over Mim to collect the rebound. Miami not getting any easy baskets right now. Lakers either getting fouled, shooting, shooting a decent percentage. All of a sudden, everything is half court, half court, half court. O'Neal turns, lots it underneath. Nice pass in the basket for Wade. Well, you can see Shaq. Sha Shaq forces you to run without the ball. And when you run without the ball, you'll always do that if the person is unselfish. And Shaq will find you if you're open. He's made some great passes here. For me. I think that's the most underrated part of his game. We yes. watch him every every night. You get on the way he passes. You gotta get it out, man. You got, you got numbers here. Three on two. Damon Jones. Wade will send it to Eddie Jones. Good ball movement. Damon Jones can't cash in, but that's Haslam there. Getting it over Mim and into the basket to make it a four-point game. Well, Haslam is, you know, the unsung guy on this defensive team. Running on the offense, they run no plays for him now. He gets everything on a broken play or on the offensive boards. And you can see that was he at his best. Spin move, reverse spin move to the other side and from the baseline. Knocks it down to make it a six point Los Angeles lead. Well, he's showing it all today. I mean, he's taking you off the dribble either way. He's got the three going. Also, the medium range jumper, and then he'll take you to the rim. And shooting better today than he has been. We're in the, the game under 40%. Today, 9 out of 17 from the field, and 25 out of 10 from three point. O'Neill is short. So I, I, I like the Laker defense in this quarter. They are double teaming hard. Odom is working, coming on the double team. So it makes it difficult sometimes for Shaq now to see the cutters. Five out of 16 ah. is the heat. Ah. And that's Wade. What a move. Wow. Beautiful. Now he covered quite a distance on the elevation. And Damon Jones gets whistled here. Shaq rests. Goliak comes in. Sandon Anderson also comes in. And Ryan Cook is in the lineup now for the Lakers. Ryan is in the game earlier in the first half. Ryan O'Neal came out simultaneously. Atkins with a runner that doesn't go. Damon Jones with the rebound. Going back free. Two point game. The fast break situation is there for both teams. But you have to want to break. If you just get the pass out a little bit longer and push, just like that time, you have numbers three on two, something good will always happen. It's double, and it'll be a jump ball as Wade came over. Anderson was on him initially, and they'll jump it. Yeah, this was uh, just a bad decision by Kobe. Excellent defense by Wade coming from the back uh, to be able to uh, force the jump ball situation. Right now, Kobe does not want to force things. All he has to do is just continue to take the double team and find the free beat. Short clock, six on the timer right now. Over, over to I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for the pass. Wade. 
But Dolby Atkins there to follow. So Shaq on the bench, Miami's tied it. Every time that Wade goes hard to the left side of the rim, you will see three white shirts come across to try to defend them. If you're active, if you man leave you, please go to the front of the rim, just like that. Dolby Atkins wide open once the shot was missed. Six on the shot. Means Anderson in the dust. Oh. Oh. Now you could hear the moaning now from behind us. Yep. They were moaning. Yep. Pass the ball. Give it up. Yep. What a great move. Way to go, Kobe. Next thing you know, he puts it in. They're up by a deuce. That's right. Oh. Oh, Offensive oh. foul on Wade. So Wade, that's his first person. Now keep an eye on this. He has absolutely nothing. Two guys are gone. Now once he goes baseline, slips in. Now naturally, everyone can make that move. A little scoop, finger roll off the top. Beautiful. No problem. 31 for Brian, averaging about a point per minute play. And they're trying to post him here off of a curl move by Ola. Now you have to clear out now. Long two. <laughs> Quite a day, Al. Quite a oh, day. Man. Let me tell you. Living up to expectations. Absolutely. Both teams have a foul to give. Closing minute of the third quarter. Anderson missing. What that pick? 13 second differential. Game clock, shot clock, play. From the off missing. Cook tries to slide it out. Odom collects it. And now Jones will back it up with Atkins. They can play for the last shot. That's right, back it out. We just had a great quarter. Your defense has been solid. Miami shooting a poor percentage, and your main guy's on fire. And 19,000 people are standing. So the rest of the gang normally here is here today. Yes. Shaquille O'Neal is here, but in a different uniform. For the first time since he was an Orlando Magic player back before the deal in 96. And underneath, Brian has it taken away. Uh, he, he got fouled. He was fouled by three different guys. And unfortunately, no call. Shandon Anderson, offensive foul. Now Shandon Anderson is in the game now, Al, to guard Kobe Bryant. And uh, if you notice, on the very first play, they posted Bryant again. And let's just see if they continue to work that until Miami stops it. Stan Van Gundy, who inherited the position of head coach last year, when Pat Riley on the eve of the season, shockingly stepped down. Of course, is the president of the team. Is out from outside that doesn't work. And Brian Grant gets the rebound. Now, it's nice to see Brian back. And I'm happy to see him playing again. He's got a big difference over the year. And Jumaine Jones getting the start today and playing a lot more than he normally would because of the suspension of Karan. Butler makes it a seven point game. First start of the year. This is Eddie Jones. Shandon Anderson from the corner. With this group out on the floor right now, you've got to say to yourself, look, we're going to take away Shaq's game, double him as much as possible, make the rest of these bench guys make open shots. And then Bryant, after O'Neill had come out to help on the double, throws it out of bounds. See, that's been open all game, Al. Anytime that Kobe Bryant comes off of a screen with Shaq defending, Shaq's man is always open to the left side of the floor. Now, that's only the first time in this game that he passed back to that man. O'Neal, oh. left-handed, doesn't go. But Leitner keeps it alive for the Heat. Back to Shaq. Nice. Anytime. Shaq makes that move in the post, kicks the ball out, or a shot goes out, goes right back at him because he's covered one-on-one. -on -one. Too late for the double team. 18 for O'Neal in the game. Right three-pointer off the back iron. Miami, just be patient. 
Just be patient. They'll continue to keep shooting the long jumpers. What you have to do, though, is get some fast break, easy baskets. O'Neal back out to Damon Jones for a three-pointer. We have a two-point game. Well, we've been waiting for Damon to get on fire. Now we tell you that he's leading the league in makes. And he's, he's an unsung person on this starting unit with Miami. All he does is spot up and play off the double teams of either Wade or Shaq. He has eight. There goes Anthony and Shaq with the block. Good block clean. Ten seconds on the shot clock now. Uh, Shaq baited him. Shaq baited him beautifully. Keep an eye to the right of your screen. Shaq just laid in the woods over there until Atkins made the move and started the elevation. Takes the inbounds pass. Oh, Runs into a field. Oh, oh, the roof, yeah, exactly. Now, now he's been fouled twice. The last two times going down in there. And you gotta give him credit, because he's taking the pounding and there are no calls. Now these are obvious fouls. Miami with a chance to tie the game or even take the lead with a three-pointer. O'Neal, three on the timer. You gotta love it. The, the big fella has an incredible touch. Shooting 61% for the season. And, and it's just amazing because most guys would make that shot. The ball would hit the rim. It would come back to them or go off the other side. So a game that was once tied at 40 is now tied at 80. And Best Christmas. Eh? Yes, <laughs> and what did he say? All, I, all I'm thinking about is new plays, new situations, how we're going to defend, how we're going to go offensively. Everything is running through your mind in the first five minutes because it might happen. The game was tied at 80. Odom gives them the lead here. Each team is 31 out of 68 from the field. So it's as close to even as you can get in every department, 46%. Well, an interesting stat. The Lakers have only attempted eight foul shots in this game. And at the other end, uh, Miami has attempted 18. In terms of three-pointers, the Heat 6 of 11. The Lakers are 12 out of 29. Time here. Six on the shot. Dooling has to watch one. Mim is there for the rebound. Miami with a 10 game winning streak. In five of those wins, they have trailed in the fourth quarter. The other they were down by a dozen. And again, a defensive three seconds. Now they call it on Shaq this time. Bryant will go to the line. Miami with a mark of 21 and 7. So they were 11 and 7. And Damon Jones goes into the starting lineup, averaging 104 points per game, almost 10 points more than the opposition. And from the field, they've been terrific at 50%. Well, you have to love their comebacks, Al. You know, in, in 12 games, they've just played outstanding in the fourth quarter. And they've won 11 out of the 12. They, you got to get that. That's excellent defense, good shot, block, and excellent uh, execution by the team under pressure in the last three minutes. Got it. Two-pointer, 84-80. So Miami, after catching the Lakers, now down by four. Seven and a half to play in regulation. This guy, Mim, very quietly has 10 points. He has not been involved in the play yet. Eddie Jones gets it back from Shaq. And the Lakers can't save it. The ball winds up out of bounds and will go to Miami. Well, see, that's been open all night, Al. We brought that out in the first half because Kobe Bryant plays him on the inside. See, right there. See, that's open. And now it comes in here, and you can see Eddie Jones got hit not only by Bryant, but also by the rotating man. Eddie Jones was very upset that he didn't get the call. Regime. Five seconds on the 24, and it won't matter because Jones loses it off his foot. And that's a tough pass. Anytime you throw a bounce pass to a guy who's cutting with a defender in between, you have to thread a needle. Mim outside, drawing Shaq with him. Bryant. Out to Odom, passing on the three. Keon Dooling 
guarded by Atkins. Shaq, scoop shot. Oh. A little scoop by O'Neal, and that's 22 points for Shaquille. That was pretty. That was really pretty. Losing it, Leitner helped break up the play. So now Miami with a chance to tie or even take the lead. Excellent pass by Bryant. Man, you've been open all night. When that happens and he gives you the pass, you've got to catch it and make the score. Shaquille, somebody's open. Underneath, doesn't get the bounce. Won't drop, Wade looks around, says, where's the whistle? That's a terrific pass by Shaq. Uh, Wade went through the lane and made a comeback. He came right back and was open. Beautiful pass. Bryant isolated. Glass. And not on purpose. I wouldn't think. No. Now, right now, Miami, you see, their heads are down. I don't understand why. I, I, I think possibly the reason is they thought that they could. Damon Jones outside, Miami. With possession here, down by four. Yeah, I, I like the timeout, but right now they're a little confused about what they really want to do. And Mim contacts Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, that's a tough call, Al. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's so difficult to guard Shaq, and if and if you are doing it in the proper way with the forearm in the back, all right, and you're not pushing him and knocking him, well then that's supposed to be legal. Yeah, normally you get away with it. I mean, how many times has Shaq got mugged and there's been no whistle? That's right. Wade. Ball loose. Laker ball. Okay, Wade is struggling. He's like 6 for 17 right now. All the misses have come in the second half where he has definitely not been able to elevate. And that's why we said as this game moved on for the 48 minutes, you were going to question whether or not Wade or Shaq would be able to give you that all-out 100% effort. Well, Shaq looks all right, but Wade is definitely, you know, he, he's having a hard time. Give it up here. Plenty of time. Ryan gets it back, and he turns on him like a glove. Oh! This is the best shot this time, falling in love with the glass, and there's a foul underneath. Well, you love it. You love him. See, once again, he's on the opposite side, away from the shot. The shot is missed. He comes, took look at the top of your screen. He comes right over Shaq, right past them, up and in. And we said he has great hop. He found a home here. Uh, the people appreciate his game, and he's working very hard. And, and as the starting unit, remember now, four guys from the Lakers are all new to this team, and all you have is Kobe Bryant. He has to play perfectly to carry the four guys. The other four guys are trying to learn one another, never mind Kobe Bryant. Fourth, the fourth personal foul on Shaquille O'Neal. Miami has become very sluggish. Every, everything is just too slow. Uh, they've lost their quickness. Wade starts to drop a little Drop down to two, and that one drops for Wade. Yeah, he needed that. They needed it, and he needed it. Uh, in this last four of 15, they need Wade to be able to create off the dribble if they are not going to power basketball through shot. Wade, 21 to get a shot, 22. And Ryan gets fouled by O'Neal, and that's going to be a fifth personal foul. Now, you just saw a great recovery. Just watch the recovery here. He has absolutely nothing. And he's able to go in the air and avoid the shot block. Kobe to the chance of Kobe. Running a Grand Prix route. Drew O'Neal forcing the foul. For Kobe Bryant now, he has 37 points. He's been perfect from the line. He's 8 of 8. He stays perfect from the line. Big game for Kobe. He was at 240-point plus games this season. And it's a five-point game. And Jermaine Jones yeah. gets called for the foul as Wade goes down hard. Uh, he, 
you know, you, you know, he didn't mean to do that, but he caught Wade right across the face. Poor Wade. I mean, Wade had the collision in Sacramento <laughs> on right. Tuesday night. He was fouled by Ricky Davis of Boston to the extent that Davis was thrown out of the game, and not today. It back out to Damon Jones. Three point, the big one. Big, big three point shot. Two point game. That was a great play by design. Threw the ball in. That's the first time that they have screened down in the middle of the lane for Damon Jones to bring him to the top of the circle. Wide open. A runner by Kobe doesn't go. Tip high in the air. Then O'Neal gets it. And he gets it out to Damon Jones. He makes a nice play to save it from going out of bounds. But there's no basket, no basket. Wade went in and missed it, and I found before the shot. Yeah, they call it on. They called it on the uh, by Wade, and it was a terrific movement. They had a three-on-two in that situation, and when Damon Jones went with the cross-court pass, it took the defense over. Beautiful move by Wade going to the rim. In this game today, we have three of the top five guys getting to the foul line. Now here's a great move by Wade. See, they get him by. They get the defensive player by stepping under. We have three guys in this game who attempt over 10 foul shots a night. Wade, then you have Shaq at 10, and then you have Kobe Bryant at 11. I mean, that is an incredible stat that you have three guys here today, and there are only five guys in the league getting that many attempts. And Wade and Bryant have each been perfect. They're each nine out of nine from the line. And we're tied at 89 with 315 remaining in the fourth period. away, but a foul on his way to the basket. Yeah, and, and a little talking. And a little talking. And at least there's some smiling. Yeah, well, he, he, he came up and he said something to Wade. So he's going right there, up over the top. Wade came in from the side to try to help Eddie Jones on that coverage. Shaq said, or Kobe probably said, Shaq calls you flash, but I'll flash you. <laughs> Brian to the line. That's Eddie Jones' fifth foul. So Eddie Jones and Shaq each now with five. Ah! And with a little bit of Christmas luck, Sunday, NBA TV, Boston will be at San Antonio. Thursday, TNT. Doubleheader, Miami at Detroit, San Antonio at Portland this week. Bryant seeking his 40th ball. Got a couple of fortuitous bounces, and LA is up by a deuce. Eddie Jones. O'Neal and Tom Janet was just saying, come on. I'll tell you what, yeah, he has a good complaint there, Al. That ball, it looked like, was still up over the rim. Now, I lost it because Shaq went up and blocked up the building. <laughs> Damon Jones gets the rebound, and Miami now has a chance to assume the lead. All night long, we've been saying, Shaq, quick feet. Boy, he showed it again. Missing the rim, and Odom comes back for L.A. as we tick down to two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Odom tries to dish it up to mid, they get lucky as Jones saves it. And then Kobe drives in, and you've got a Shaquille O'Neal with a foul. And the place erupts as Shaquille O'Neal has fouled Sits down with 24 points and 11 rebounds. Uh, there was no doubt about that. That wasn't even close. This has been a heck of a basketball uh, it, game. It's been an excellent game when you think of the drama involved. Both players have played well. Kobe's having a spectacular game, but he's also had nine more shot attempts than Shaq. So you love what Shaq was doing here, and you are just in awe of what Kobe Bryant has done. And Kobe Bryant is the last guy standing. Because Shaq is out of the game and he's just given them the lead. And Kobe Bryant right now has equaled his season high of 41 points. He scored 41 in Orlando on November 12th, and the Lakers lost the game. 
Now the other side that underlined Kobe Bryant's performance is the three-point shooting. 12 for 30. And Bryant is 5 of 11. He's taken 11 of those 30. Now there's pressure right now on Eddie Jones and Wade to make things happen. Ooh, now that, now that was a quick call. Uh, Kobe Bryant, they used Eddie Jones on a wraparound on the screen to the left of the wall, and they pulled the grab. Here, now just keep an eye on it now as he makes a curl move. See, he's got him. See, he's got him around the waist. That's automatic this year. You cannot uh, play a screener or a cutter with your hand around the waist. It's four fouls on Bryant. Two minutes to play. Ah! drives and gets the basket. Now is the first time that we have seen Wade this half take it to the right of the rim, if you really think about it. And this time, all the way with a maximum explosion. Well, he has to be the guy. Oh, absolutely. When Shaq sat out the other night against Boston, Wade really stepped up. That foul is on Odom, that's his third. And now Wade has a chance to give Miami the lead with under two minutes to play. But can't get it to drop. Game remains at 93. Atkins with the ball to Bryant. Kobe with that lane, less clock. The main Jones who misses. And the Lakers comes down with a rebound and then gets fouled. Oh, Mark, come on now. You cannot afford a technical foul. Uh, that ball was kept alive. You like the fact that Leitner went up. And, and I like what Van Gundy said about Christian Leitner. Excellent addition to their team. He's, uh, he, along with uh, uh, Doliak, have been terrific for them up front. And Christian has played extremely well, especially at the defensive end, he said, for his team in the fourth quarter. And right now at the offensive end, he'll try to give them the lead again. Odom has just picked up his fourth foul. Bryant, Odom, and Min Leitner gives Miami the lead again. Well, Christian playing with a bad back. You know, this is his uh, 13th year in the league, and he's had a lot of success at a number of stops. Makes one of two. Min wearing the glass. Atkins brings it up. He'll be on the other side now. Odom can't get a clean one away because he's fouled on the way to the basket. Yeah, late call, but a good call. They, they know that Lamar Odom can feed his man off the dribble. I just keep an eye on it. See, once he gets in here, see, it was a late call. But he gets a wrap right across the wrist. By Wade, and for Wade, with no foul trouble at all today. That's his first. Odom is such a difficult cover, Al. Uh, he's, he's clever with the dribble. Plus, he's left-handed. He's got that great stride as he comes across the lane. He can not only finish with the hook or the or the finger roll, but he can also pick out people and make a good pass. That's 294. Actually, charge that foul to Haslam. His second. 94 all, 120 remaining in the fourth. Out on the way. Leitner's free to 18. Can't get it to drop. Mim saves it. Great play on the baseline by Mim. Oh, they had a good luck. Christian was wide open. Kobe Bryant, will he make it a perfect day for himself and the Lakers? Kobe knows drama. But only four seconds now on the clock. He has to go outside to hold him. I'm a firm believer in taking what comes. When it's there, take it. But make sure that you get a good shot and don't be worrying about the clock. Wade, they yeah. have nothing. They have nothing here. Wade, and they got 15. Oh, they big. took out to Jones. Now they can play for the last shot go. of regular. Now you hold out. Now you pull the ball out. And that was good basketball. They had nothing now, and they didn't rush it, and they ended up with a pretty good shot. Great work on the offensive glass. Neither team has a foul to give. Got to go now. They waited too long. They waited long. They waited. Wade. Take the shot. Right outside. Missing. And we go to overtime. And one. 
Shaquille O'Neal fouled out of the game with 2.15 remaining. The game was tied at 91 when he left. Each team scored three more, and so here we go. Five minute overtime. Kobe Bryant has played 45 of the 48 minutes, and then Min has it taken away by Wade. Now, they did not run that play the entire game. And Eddie Jones banks on the two. Miami, with this quick unit out here right now, must take advantage, Al, of every fast break opportunity. But you could see, coming out of that timeout, here it comes again. They're trying to post either Mim or Odom down inside. Odom all the way in. Makes it in. Wow, see, that could have been an offensive foul. Odom definitely put that forearm out. Three guys wanted that call that time. Referee just blew it off. Eddie Jones has five fouls. And after making the deuce, he misses here. The Lakers have a chance to reclaim the lead. Yeah, I like what they ran. They ran, they call, they call this horns in the NBA. Right now they're going to post Ryan. But the last two plays came out of a post up or a one on one situation. Spin around, back doesn't go. You got to go. You got to go and see if you can get something easy. Because with this unit, it's tough to score in the half court game. Wait. Oh! Spin move left-handed off the glass. We've been waiting out. What a play. We've been waiting for that. Now he's, he's struggled. He's had a tough night. He's 9 for 23. But we were waiting for him to finish with that left hand. And in the 50th minute of the game, he does it. And they steal the ball. And Damon Jones beats Eddie Jones again. And Eddie collects. And the here, Miami up by four. Kobe Bryant. Bowen's going to work inside. And you're going to get a blocking foul. Tough, tough call. Tough call, tough angle. Uh, mainly because the call is from the right side. The referee on the right-hand side, and this play is going away. Uh, right there, good call. Good call. He, he never established where he was in front of him. Now, forget about the fact he was moving. You're entitled to move. But he did not get in front. Short clock now with 10 seconds. Number 24, and Odom hits a three-pointer. You know, we've been talking about... So many different people in this game, and Odin very quietly has 21. Wade dumps it inside for Leitner, and he gets fouled on his way to the basket. Now that has been there for Miami. Anytime that they come off of the screen high at the foul line or top of the circle, the man who sets the screen on the roll has been open. And the reason, the Lakers' rotation on the baseline has been late all game. That's the fifth foul on Mim. Brian Grant has also played in the middle, but Grant picked up three early fouls. He would be the guy who would probably come in. Though with O'Neal out of the game, that might mitigate against that. There he is on the bench. And Leitner drops in the free throw to make it 102 to 99. They, they want to work on Odom. Here's a clear out for Odom. On Haslam. Back outside to Bryant. Eddie Jones on him. Kobe missing. And Miami trying to get the rebound and keep it away from Odom, which Wade does. And then he gets fouled by Odom. Yeah, well, I see that. That was silly. That was silly. Ma mainly because you did not get the jump ball. Once you did not get the jump ball, ju just let the guy pass the ball. Why foul him in? And he does his fifth. Yeah, keep keep it right here now. And you see now, now once it goes, here's the foul. That's definite. It's a definite foul. What you want to do is you want to stay out of the penalty here in this overtime and stay out of a technical too, because Odom right. ran all the way down the court and hung on the basket. Oh. Way a little floater from the lane, and Miami is up by five as we tick down to two minutes remaining in overtime. Talk about big baskets. This young guy is stepping up right now. But the athleticism that he's showing now is something that we have not seen since the first quarter. Outside for Jones. Yeah, doesn't even come close. And so Miami right now can milk the clock a little bit. 140, 104, 99. Yeah, the Lakers have got to dig in here right now. They need to stop. Very key possession. Wade. Five on the timer. Got to make it happen. Two on the timer. Wade doesn't go. 
Him volley balls it to himself. Wow, that's what you needed. The Lakers needed that. Now just get a good shot at that. Bryant dishing back outside Atkins. Now to Odom. Three point loss. Two point game. Odom has been terrific all night long. Short game, long game, mid range game. 24 points for Odom, and he's four out of six from three point land. The Lakers have taken 35 three point shots, and Wade misses. Loose ball underneath, and it's going to go to Miami. And Tom Janovich could have won the standing, whatever it is, high jump. Shaq fouled out on a Bryant drive in the fourth. Down inside of seven seconds now. Eddie Jones with the fadeaway. Men with the rebound. You have plenty of time here now. Just work and get, get what you want here. Something good. Odom. Ten on the 24. Bryant. Atkins. Atkins with an offense defense. Uh, play hard, go for the steal. Some guys would say, say hey, we're going to foul, okay? Now, both teams have one foul to get. Uh, they're looking for the trap, trying to go for a steal. Now, this is good Miami basketball. Very yeah. good right here. That's exactly right. They're running the clock. Remember now, a foul, no foul. And Kobe no, he gave the time. He gave him a timeout. He right. gave him the timeout with six seconds yeah. remaining on the 24 and 9.2 now in the game. Guarding the inbound pass. Leitner. Okay, they're not going to foul. They're going to play the three seconds. You, you got to get it up, baby. Okay. Clock violation. So the Wade and Eddie Jones. And Jumaine Jones to inbound. Bryant gets doubled. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Amazing that it didn't go in the way with his history and all of the drama and this whole day. And so for Kobe Bryant, he has the one chance at the end. Can't make it go down. And Shaquille O'Neal and Miami Heat have won 11 straight games. As Kobe is launching that three at the very end of that first overtime, what are you thinking? I knew that it wasn't going to go in because uh, my team came out and they played well. I fouled out. I felt I let them down a little bit, but... Uh, uh, Flash Eddie Jones told me they had it. And that's all we wanted to do, come here and win. You know, we're not trying to score 50 or 60 points and try to outdo anybody. You know, we just want to play good team ball, and that's what we did today. Fouling out with 2.15 to play and then seeing this go into overtime, how tough was it to be sitting on the bench? It was very tough. I was just trying to, you know, protect the basket. You know, a couple of those calls, you know, were questionable. But, you know, like I said, I felt I let my team down a little bit. But Flash told me, have no fear. Flash is here couple things what was it like for you to walk out of that tunnel for the first time as an opponent it was different I said to myself when I was you know designing this arena you know I should have made the you know business locker room a little bit bigger but Merry Christmas to the military Merry Christmas to the police officers Merry Christmas to all my friends and family Merry Christmas to all the children out there what about the handshake Kobe came right to you before the opening tip you didn't make eye contact why not well, I was just doing the same things I always do. You know, I was just coming out here, you know, getting ready to play. You know, I didn't want to get caught up in the nonsense that, you know, you guys try to do. You know, I just wanted to come in, you know, play good, solid basketball. All of that nonsense, Shaq, the hype leading up to this game, some people trying to say, hey, it's just another game. Clearly it wasn't. What does the win mean to you? I think it was a fun game to watch on TV, but I'm all about winning, keeping my team in first, trying to get another championship. Congratulations.